Introducing the building science of air leakage to understand the effects of cracks, gaps, and holes in the building envelope. Almost all buildings suffer from stack effect when unconditioned air is pulled inside because of deteriorated building envelope components or poor original construction. It all starts at the bottom of the building as cold air enters or infiltrates openings, warms once inside, and then rises to the top of the building. In hot climates, this effect can be reversed. Constantly in use, exterior doors with failed gaskets and seals are common leak points. Often these gaps are so large, light can be seen, a sure sign that air is leaking too. Unsealed soffits, especially around entrance awnings, also pull in unconditioned air. Once inside, cold air easily travels through building rafters, eventually exiting or exfiltrating through gaps at the roof wall joints after being warmed by the HVAC system. Once inside, air moves through the building. Stairwells act as shafts, pulling conditioned air from each floor up through the building. Unseen to the naked eye, but just as detrimental as stairways, are interior pipes. They too act as shafts or open passageways for air to rise from level to level. Because interior air pressure increases as the warm air rises to the top of the building, the air looks for escape paths. On the rooftop, air seeps around ducts to curb details at roof exhausts. Another rooftop problem is skylights, where air and moisture leaks often occur simultaneously. Compounding the problem, cold air also infiltrates the building here, so uncontrolled air is traveling in both directions. Perhaps the most recognized source of air leaks is gaps and cracks around windows, where so much cold air often infiltrates, occupant comfort is most compromised. The solution to stack effect is a continuous air barrier system. Energy costs are lowered, indoor air quality and occupant comfort improves, and building components last longer.